He's willing to win. Tada. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Zwei Dosen Tür. Die Wurm, einmal Wurm, die Scheunen, die Gräunen, die Scheunen, die eigenen Kopf, um die Zionisten umgetroffen. Ja. Ja. This, this way of, of going with uh, humbleness and uh, placating and, and trying to. Uh, to reinvigor uh, 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 our friendship and um, you know to uh, to take away the hate is is the way that was taught us in uh, as I say you know from tradition from generation to generation it goes back from the the Torah to, to the and it goes through we went to the Rishon Machra the Tanoim Amaron in other words all the way to the time of the town but all the way back to the Torah it says by Yaakov went to Esau which he didn't mention that but Yaakov went to Esau. And, and, and this is the taught us that this is the way, this, this concept of standing up in opposition is pure Zionism that started um, uh, with, the, with Zionism, that a new type of approach of Judaism and Jewish people to people who hate us. The, this approach we did to the worst enemies well, of Jews, pure anti-Semites, to, to the worst enemies of Jews throughout history, this was the approach, our approach was the approach. With the anti-Semites? Yeah, with anti-Semites. This was the approach of Judaism. So I guess the only limit would be in a case of where you felt it was in danger to your own life, right? So saying the, the strategy towards a Nazi kind of person right. would be to try to explain Judaism, placate them, right, or yeah, engage with them yeah, in some yeah, way. Right. Er fragt uns tatsächlich, es kommt aus, dass die einzige Zurückhalt, was gewesen ist, hast du schon mit Stolz zu gehen, aber ich habe nicht verdient, was man gegangen hat mit Nazis, mit alles. Nicht als um, so first of all, I I will just um, like I say, I, I back to say I'm telling you this, and um, and uh, the Satmar Rebbe writes in his writing that we should do it even at the danger of our life. Of the, he says the mysterious nefesh, even if we're putting ourselves in danger, we should be informing the nations that the Zionism doesn't represent Judaism or the Jewish people who are true to Judaism. He writes that in his own book. He writes that Satmar Rebbe wrote that. That was the Rabbi Teitelbaum was chief rabbi of Palestine. He said that we should be going in the streets amongst the nations to inform them. And it happened, and Rabbi Beck is saying that, uh, uh, he's saying even with the Nazis, uh, Rabbi Michal Ber Vastel did it. He went and he approached the Nazis secretly, and he approached them to save the Jews. He put his life in danger and he was almost killed. Um, um, and, um, and, and, and we don't do it. God forbid we're not going to this anti, this, this Nazi, this uh, murder, this anti-Semite, we're not going to him uh, as, as friend. In other words, in other words, we don't become brothers with uh, somebody who's a pure evil person. In a case, a conceptual case where the person is a pure evil person, but the point is we're going to save him, that we do that, and we did that. Our history shows we did that. And uh, uh, just our recent history, Michal Ber Weissmandel, a blessed memory, who by World War II and wrote a books about it. And Mechobe Weissmandel went and approached um, um, Eichmann and so forth to try to buy off the Jews, if you know the story. Um, um, well, uh, in short, the Hungarian Jews were, were almost safe. Oh, right, they, okay. they, they should, he said he's ready to buy off all the Jews in Hungary. Right. Because, yeah, and he was almost able to accomplish it. By the way, the Zionists supported his efforts. And there's a perfidy about this. And he wrote a book we'll in the Right, yeah. and in the <laughs> Mechobe Weissmandel said if we would have formed on our, you know, on our feet, we would have fallen flat on our face in front of Hitler and tried to appease him. That we could have accomplished, and, and not only that. Oh, I'm not so thing. sure what it worked. There but were anyway, plenty of Jews who were put well, on. There's put a on lot. Their feet there's a lot to speak nothing. about because it was uh, they, they incited Hitler. Like I say, Stephen Wise called out a, a boycott against him, and Hitler responded that the Jews are calling out a boycott against me. Uh, they don't have a, uh, their country. I'm going to call out a boycott against the Jews. I'm going to fight against the Jews. Rabbi Holbert speaks. He spoke to an ambassador. Of, 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 of Germany and who told him that he had gone into Hitler and Hitler threw himself on the carpet, hit the carpet and said he got so angry at the Jews when Stephen Wise called about this thing. There's a lot more to it. There's a lot more that he, that he had this issue with the Jewish Can people. I ask you about the... Um but wait, I want to say before I forget, uh, so when you mentioned the, uh, about Hamas, 
um, uh, I have to make a disclaimer that I was personally, I met with the heads of Hamas, yes. Ismail Khani and so forth, and, and, and I met with others, I met with, uh, I was in Lebanon, I just came back from Lebanon uh, just uh, a, a month or two ago. With Hezbollah, you mean? When Hezbollah is part of the government, as you know, and they were by, um, and they were uh, the main, and they were like uh, closing, they gave the closing speech by an, uh, uh, a gathering um, of people from over 100 is, 70 or 160 something countries. We had former ambassadors and so forth. We had, and they had like one of the, the leaders, and they, I've had it many times where they keep on saying, We have nothing against the Jewish people. This doesn't get to shown in the world, obviously, because the world doesn't report it, although it's open, you know, it's a public um, uh, um, gathering. And they said, We have nothing against the Jews, we have nothing against the Jewish people or Judaism. We have against the occupation. Now, we're not, um, and I'm saying, we're not. Uh, condoning uh, violence or anything like that, but we're stating clearly that their their issue is not with uh, Ju or Judaism or Jewish people, their issue is occupation, and by our separating and trying to show them that it's not the Jewish people, both not around the world or in Palestine, not in the Holy Land, these aren't the Jews who are, who are trying to take their homes away, so therefore we're taking away the anger from the general populace, from the Jewish people, because we're telling them, don't um, don't um, hold us, um, your enemies. Don't uh, don't uh, uh, consider the Jewish people, whether they're living in in the Holy Land or they're living anywhere else, as as the ones who are are, are the ones who are uh, doing damage to to your brothers and sisters or something. This is something by pure it's a Zionism, which is being confused with Judaism. So we have no. Um, uh, compunctions or no problem with approaching all of these leaders who you mentioned. You may you mentioned Hamas. We don't consider them uh, that they're that they're enemies of the Jews. This is a Zionist uh, label. Now there may be a pure anti-Semites, pure anti-Semites, where they are ahead enemies of the Jewish people. We would still be approaching them. And I just want to clarify because I don't want the, our answer that I'm saying that we would approach enemies of the Jewish people to mean that Hamas is the enemies of the Jewish people. Understood.